What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Eivor, thought I smelt you on the wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. I've a with my Ziguili. Uh, good to meet you as well. So, is the wedding here? When you spoke of a marriage feast, Gunnar, I hoped it would be at home. No, no, no. We're here for the festival and blessings. Bridget's hand must be given. You know me, Eivor. I'm forged in honor. Whose blessing? I see no pitchfork shaking father or weeping mother. <laughs> Glauachistus Elderman Kunan. He helped raise Briggs since she was a pup. Have you a family, Bridget? If mom and dad cut it even gilder than Anun, Kunan helped raise me. Briggs and man power the last high priestess and Elderman. They since passed on, but the current Elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this Elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see a compass kill him. That's Eivor Gal, please, Sound. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevder. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Devder, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage, and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor! Wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. 
If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. Accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but Path and I usually serve. To the Brevo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunan, and that spatchcock Tetir lives. Restraint, Javor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? The Gwiskel Anvil is spread down in creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowachester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. Oh. 
It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, that's Hooden. Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that plague then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look us. Montron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samin. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tefter becomes elder men. The Dean of Fall. Regardless of voice of poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenny, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I'll give me strength. A man modern is known and a humor toe is good run. I'm glad you're all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go away. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Mordron, you do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Eivor, there you are. Tempter. You're well met. Gwilym here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For a shaveling of the Christ Lord. You have a lot of scars, Quillam. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Dabby babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Of all the elder men I've met, you are the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A 
true father sacrifices himself for his people. Gives his all, his blood and flesh. A great honor, but a sad fate. Hmm. When you speak these words, it reminds me of the Christ. Oi, lad. Now you can see how a man like myself sees the value in both. A toast, then. To Elderman Kunan. Joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevgar. May he wear the horns head high. Weak. What is this? Water. I feel like Thor chugging oceans, no effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse is ours. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tevter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah! The greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union! To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. Ha! <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter, where are you?
hell's breath. What happened last night? Ah, the effects of that draft still cling. There she is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same. Conan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! <laughs> blood from the new king. It would be best to lie low. I've come to trade barbs for cake and ale. It's past the Littlands' bedtimes, and I want to retire. Take your cake and go! Stretch your wings, Sunan. There is more drum. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Cardigan Fire! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother! If the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I've business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind. 
returns a body to Earth and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic knot wards of harm. A secure knot indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Glowachester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladren. Kuthladren. <clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Good Ladrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin, Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Ludrin is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. I should not be seen in this area. Yeah! <laughs> 
Shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kurnan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sells swords, you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice and scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kurnan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Teftir killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but you have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell her! Tell her we've taken care of you! Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up! Wake up! Tell the Dane I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move forward. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. There's lot of been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness, under the laws of many gods. <laughs> One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I'm a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I'll gut him. Death and dishonor is the punishment he deserves. All legacy destroyed. Kunan may be ill and aged, but his sword arm is strong. He'll kill you first if you let him. Do not let him. 
My blade is imbued with the blood of gods and armies. I fear not a single coward. You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modron. And please, take care of Teftir. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Eivor! Finally, Tiri de Hwalid! Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor! What has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. Bridget! I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters! I'm going to take it home to Mother! If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it and all, I lay a god. It's you again! The Sowan Butcher! The Sowan Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> the Baronet! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I am looking for Kunan. Right, right, yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! I must find a way to get in. There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! Ha. Have you... have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Teftir is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly. But I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader, and an angry church ready with holy fire. They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. 
Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Your grand scheme has collapsed into sand at every step, Kunan. I know. I never should have trusted Gwilym and his merry band of fuckwits to kill one man. You and the witch. This was your plan. To so make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired more. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. <laughs> Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron! Stay your blade, or die at my hand! I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! <laughs> Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? 
Tefter is no longer the salad you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river arms. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. Kunan is dead for your lies. Your wicker man will burn empty. Mother? Now, we are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter, despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! Kunan was behind the attempt on your life. Modron brought you here. Your wounds should heal by the next moon, if you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Returned. Gunner, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. 
anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people, so that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place, and to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Alderman Tafter. Mother Modron. So you two will form in a court. Heathens and Christkin in an uneasy truce. The pagans of Gloucester are my people, just as the children of Christ are. And our alliance. Strong as iron. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Abel, the honor is yours. Praise the harvest, King! Bloody pagans! Good boy. Good day, my love. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes, for all our pains. <laughs> 